breaking Bridget. I mean, I think this is the entire episode has broken me. <laughs> yeah. Everything going on is breaking me. But mostly it's the it's the certainty with which everybody talks about this. Watching all of the particularly American pundits and people who don't really know anything about I, I hate people speaking on the beh- on behalf of Ukrainian people in particular. We don't know what they want. We don't know what the will their will is. I'm sure it's diverse as there are many millions of people in the country. And we don't understand their mentality. It's a completely different worldview just to act like we know what's best. And I also believe that it's really hard to parse all of these competing feelings that one might be having. You know, some people feel very anti-war and they're like, we shouldn't be going, we shouldn't be going to war. All the neocons want war. But what is the line? At what point do you, and I don't know the answer to this. I'm just asking questions. Where is the line? At what point do you say, these people need help? We deserve, we should be helping them. There should, we should risk something, but is then it escalating the situation? I don't freaking know. Right. Nobody knows. Really, it doesn't even seem like the leaders of the world know this stuff. So why would I, an average moron, 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 know anything? And then you have all these people with massive platforms spewing their takes as they come out of their head, and everyone's so certain that they're right. And I am baffled by that yeah. it's like arrogance and ignorance the combination of it and just certainty like here's how you do this it's it's pervasive anyways but in particular in moments like this it just seems exceptionally gross and i'm just mystified by how how can you how are you so sure right but that's it. This is you could talk about this being mediated, right? Everybody's right. playing their parts. So their takes are predictable. The pr- depending upon who the person is, the take is predictable. I suppose mine right? is, and they're and they're appealing <laughs> to a certain audience, right? We can talk about nuance or subtlety, and those things are great, but they don't they don't capture eyeballs, right? right. So I mean, some people I, are just so like this is what it is and they double down on this stuff and it's like this is a false flag or we shouldn't even be there or the ukrainian people should surrender and give up and it's it's like you don't fucking know anything right well it's it's and it's to me it's not even the you know pundits or whoever are you know okay it's kind of their job to like come up with a hot take hot (laughs) take and like stress that it's the right one but It's just kind of like normal people being like, well, if only we had done this and this should have happened. And if this had this had been done right, we this never would have happened. It's just like you don't know. You don't know anything. Yeah. Everyone's a Monday morning quarterback. Uh Everybody in this situation. Like, well, if I was in charge, I mean, if I was in charge, I would assassinate Putin. We know (laughs) that probably wouldn't go very well. (laughs) But I like it as a plan. (laughs) But it does. And then the people who do try and parse like a a lot of these conflicting feelings are completely demonized. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) For having any sort of I might have been wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm not quite as certain as I was. You had a you had a bunch of people come out and sort of, hey, hey, I was wrong. Right. Right. I'm not going to name them. But they went, I got this wrong. Yeah. Right. And and then they just get completely shit on. Yeah, because our culture is so unforgiving and there's no room for I was wrong and I take this back or I've changed my opinion. Yep. It's just not it's not great and doesn't really help. I mean, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> yeah. You can just This is what my necklace says that that is it's a pause. Pause when agitated or doubtful. Uh-huh. You can just pause and observe. And admit, I don't know enough about it to form an opinion. That's very com- confusing, complicated. And it's hard, too, even in our position, because I'm saying I don't I don't know enough about this, but I do like making fun of all of it. Right, right. <laughs> so it's hard because even as I sit here and talk to you, I'm giving conflicting information and saying, you know, like... I, I understand why people would want to pay attention. I also understand why people would want to weigh in with their opinion. But it's just the certainty. Like, oh, we should have done this. Yeah. We should do this. It's so annoying. 